Do you plan your meals? Well, if you don't, you very well might be overeating or eating out a lot more or even eating less nutritious stuff. One of the things that we recommend is when you go to the grocery store is to have a list. We like to use a variety of different ones, but breaking it into the different sections, specifically the My Plate sections. So make a category, you can, you know, we have these little notepads, but also just grabbing a plain piece of paper and writing fruits down, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy, all five food groups. And then once you have that, then you're gonna write down what you need from the store. And if you see that, wow, I've got a lot in these other items category, but I don't have that many fruits and vegetables or I've got way too much protein, or how can I make this list a little bit healthier for me? Making sure that you're buying the low fat, the low sodium, or the uh, natural sugar products is very important to help your overall health, especially if you're suffering from a chronic disease such as diabetes or heart disease. So making sure that you have a grocery list and actually sticking to it. Don't buy all of that extra stuff. You'll find that you can save money and you can save your waistline just by using this. If you want more information about meal planning, we do have a uh, Lunch and Learn virtual Zoom set up on August 4th at noon that we will be doing it on planning a better meal. And we'll be giving you tips and handouts and different materials that you can use to do just that. So next time you go to the grocery store, make sure you have your paper with your different categories or you can use a variety of different apps on your smartphone to help organize your grocery list. This has been Jennifer Brown, Family Consumer Science Agent with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service. Thanks for tuning in.